With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, let's discuss the question. Find the equation of the circle which touches the x-axis at a distance 3 from the origin and cut an intercept of length 6 on the axis of y. So let's begin with solution of this question. So if we'll draw the circle, so let this will be our circle. This will be our circle. So basically this circle is touching the x-axis. So we can say that this x-axis will be like this. This will be x-axis and if we'll just extend this, so this will be our x-axis. Similarly, this circle is cutting an intercept of 6 length, length 6 on the y-axis. So we will just draw our y-axis. So our y-axis will be like this. That is this intercept if we will name this point that is point of intersection this will be let's name this will be a point and let this will be our b point so basically a b this a b is given as this 6 unit and uh, this distance that is point of tangency let will be c so basically this if this is origin that is o point so we can say that this o c length this o c length is given as 3 unit because uh, the circle is touching x axis at a distance of 3 unit from the origin so this will be 3 unit. So if we will locate the center of this circle, so let this will be our center. So let this will be C naught that is center. So center C naught that this is our center. So from here we can say that uh, if this C has the x coordinate as 3 unit, so we can say that this C naught will also have the x coordinate the same as this C because uh, this is a straight line which is parallel or uh, we can say this is x axis and uh, this line this line must be perpendicular to this tangent so we can say that if this has x coordinate 3 then definitely this center will also the x coordinate 3 so we can say that x coordinate of center will be at x equal to 3 and we have to just find the y coordinate and uh, the radius of the circle so here if we will draw the perpendicular that is uh, from c naught from c naught onto this chord so let this will be perpendicular and uh, let's name this point so let this will be point d so we can say that uh, this bd this bd will be equal to this ab bd will be equal to ab because uh, perpendicular drawn from the center bisect the chord so this will be the perpendicular and this will definitely bisect so we can say that the length of this a d so ad here will be d so ad length ad length will be half of this six intercept because the whole length AB is given as this 6. So AD will be equal to half that is 3 unit. So where length of this AD, this is 3 unit. So if we will join this A point, if this joining this A point with the center C. So if we will draw this triangle, so let this will be our point D. Let this will be our point D. This will be our A point and uh, this will be our center that is C point, C naught. So if we we'll draw this triangle, so we can say that this distance, this DC naught, that is distance, this will be equal to OC, DC naught, this is definitely equal to OC, which is equal to 3 units. So this will be 3. Similarly, this AD is already 3. So we can say that the radius of the circle, this will be radius and this will be by using Pythagoras theorem, we can say that R will be equal to root of this AD square plus this CD square, C naught D square. So AD square plus c naught d square so that will come out to be r equal to root of this 3 square plus 3 square so that will come out to be 9 plus 9 which is 18 so radius will be come out to be r equal to this 3 root 2 so from here we can say that this distance c c naught c c naught or c c naught distance this will come out to be equal to radius of the circle because this point is point of tangency so that will be equal to 3 root 2 only from here we can justify that y coordinate of the center that is the c naught that will be equal to 3 root 2 because y coordinate will be with respect to this x axis only so this will be 3 root 2 so we have our center as 3 comma 3 root 2 and radius as this 3 root 2 so we will just use the standard formula to get the equation of circle that is x minus alpha whole square plus y minus beta whole square equal to r square this is the standard formula for getting the circle equation with center is alpha comma beta and radius is r so that will be x minus 3 whole square here this will be y minus 3 root 2 
whole square and that will be equal to r square which is 3 root 2 square so that will come out to be this 3 root 2 square we will just write so here will be 3 root 2 square so if we'll justify we will just open this two brackets so we get this as x square here will be plus this 9 and this will be minus 6x similarly this will be plus y square here will be 3 root 2 square so that will be 18 and here will be minus 2 into this y into this through root 2 so minus 2 into 3 that will be 6 y and here will be a root 2 and that will be equal to this 3 root 2 square so that will definitely be 18 so if we'll cancel this 18 with this 18 and arrange the equation so we get this is x square plus y square minus 6x minus 6 root 2 y and that will be plus 9 equal to 0 so basically this is our circle equation thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today